Hey, what's up, y'all? Gary with 110, and today we're going to talk about installing the AR45 servo on axle mounts from Boko RC, Low Life, and Tall Boy. Let's get into it. All right, so I made two different versions of the servo on axle mount for the AR45 straights the low life and the tall boy. I know a lot of people want to get that servo as low as possible on top of the axle, but with the AR45, when you do that, packaging can become a little bit difficult. Uh, link clearance and everything else, drag link, tie rod, all that. So the low life gets the servo as low as possible, but you are going to have to fiddle with the drag link, maybe space the servo forward or back, depending on your setup. Um, Definitely a bit more of a custom experience builder type deal with the low life. The tall boy was designed for as straightforward of an install as you can. Um, servo itself sits up higher so you have more clearance for the links if you want to center triangulate. And you still also have the raised uppers here. But uh, I'll show you here on the rig that I have it on. The tall boy is pretty straightforward install. Um, drag link tie rod all that stuff pretty straightforward no special bends no special spacing needed and you get plenty of room in the back to clear links without having to do the spaghetti noodle style links so i did go with the tall boy on mine on the bronco build because i was being lazy and didn't want to have to do the custom links for the low life but a couple team drivers and plenty of other people have done the low life without any major complaints so let me go ahead and grab a straight axle and show you how to do it. All right, so you'll basically get the same hardware kit whether you order the Low Life or the Tall Boy. You get a whole bunch of screws because there's a bunch of options. Um, the design has secures on the back of the pumpkin and then also on the factory link mount. Easiest way I've found to do it, pop that guy in there, and then just kind of slide her on down. And it should give you a pretty flush fit. And you've got a couple of options for the links, but first thing you're gonna wanna do is secure behind the back of the pumpkin. And for that, you're gonna use the M2.5 by 20. And you'll see it's gonna go through and it's gonna hit the back of the pumpkin, or the back of the diff cover there all the way through the pumpkin. So that's going to be part of the mount. And then this one, you've got a couple of other options. So it also secures here at the factory link mount. And what you do with this one kind of depends on where you're going to put your links. If you're going to center triangulate, you're going to want to snip this guy off and run the M3 by 30 through here and then back it with a nut on this side, which is included. You get a bunch of these guys. You'll want to use Loctite. And then you also want to run screw through the truss 14 millimeter works fine there slap a little washer on it to keep it outside of the hole in the truss and then go ahead and back it with a nut and tighten her all down So you have 12.5 or M, M2.5 by 20 here, M3 by 14 here. And then this really depends on how you want to do it. You're going to run the 30 or a 16 through there. Um, any, any screw you can get to, to secure it to the upper link mount is going to do the trick for you. So um, pretty basic install, and it's the same for the low life and the tall boy. So you're going to do the M2.5 by 20 here. 3 by 30 if you're doing center triangulated, or 3 by 16 however you can secure that, and then a 3 by 14 through the truss. And you want to make sure you put one of these spacers that I include um, on the back of the truss so the screw head doesn't slip down inside. You'll also get a few additional uh, washers and little M3 nuts. One of them is, again, if you're doing center triangulated, you pop a nut back here, <laughs> pop your nut, and... Uh, run the 30 through there and catch the threads into the nut. And then I also include an extra few spacers because depending on your link size, uh, if you're using uh, seven millimeter or 7.5 millimeter width, 
did include some little washers so you can kind of stack them up and eliminate any slop that might be in the back of the uh, of the link mounts there. And then the other option for link mounts is these side ones, which are higher. And those are going to be the easiest uh, for packaging and everything because it goes straight up over the axle. You don't have to worry about coming up and over the, the diff housing uh, or the uh, drive shaft. The links will be pretty much straight up there. So, um, so yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward install. Just a few options as far as whether you want to use the center triangulated links or the raised um, upper links. So M2.5 by 20. 3x30, 3x16, depending on what you're doing, and then a 3x14 through the truss to secure it. And then once it's on there, you're ready to go. And as with most of these uh, servo mounts, the easiest option is to install everything before you slap it onto the rig. So, you know, mount the links, mount the servo, get everything going, and then you'll be ready to rock. So, hope that helps. Y'all have a good one.